Since Monday, there have been many questions for us to release a timeline, and today we have one. 10.05, the first shots fired by the suspect. 10.15, the last shots were are fired. 10.17, the officers arrive on the 32nd floor. 10.18, security officer tells the LVMPD officers he was shot and gives the exact location of his room. 11.20, officers entered the suspect's room. They observed the suspect down on the ground. It's Justin's Walgreens room. MGM says that Metro's timeline of the shooting is not correct. I am very well aware of the MGM statement provided yesterday. I agree with their statement. The timeline associated with the original shot in Mr. Campos has changed. Metro now says Campos was shot closer to 10.05, aligning with the MGM's timetable released yesterday, which says Campos was shot at nearly the same time or within 40 seconds of the mass shooting outside, not the six-minute gap given earlier this week by police. Jesus Campos was given an amount somewhere in the neighborhood of $300,000 for his silence. He was also gifted two condos, and those come to the tune of about $2,500 a month each. So that's $5,000 a month that is gifted to him in the form of a residence. And that came about the time that he was supposed to be on five different television shows doing interviews. Suddenly, he canceled shortly before the interviews were to occur. Instead, he just showed up on The Ellen Show with a cane and a limp. He shot through this door, right? Yeah, from behind the door. I didn't know how he was shooting. Out of all the investigative reporters that we have that could ask hard questions, I mean, Ellen DeGeneres, who happens to have a whole line of slot machines that are sponsored by the MGM resorts. Wow. So, and, and I mean, it, really, he saved your life. And he saved the, also the woman that came out of the, the door to, to go into the hallway. You stopped everything, and MGM Resorts and Mandalay Bay did everything right. She just threw him softballs, and it's like she was telling him what happened. Uh, there was a metal bracket holding the door in place. Right, so what we're talking about here, just so everybody is clear, okay, so... That's the only damn interview that he did, was on a, a TV talk show. <laughs> You just want this to be over. So you're talking about it now, and then you're not going to talk about it again. MGM managed to keep him out of contact with any media. And they made sure that instead of hearing the facts from his mouth, we heard the facts from their mouths.